Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stampin' and I'm here with a weekend ramble. I'm really sorry I've been missing out on doing these over the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, with one thing or another, I've just not got round to doing them. Anyway, so I thought I'd get on and do one today. Um, I've got a pile of cards here that I've made for uh, various classes and... Um, yeah, just samples for different things. And what I like to do is every so often I package them up, I stamp on the backs and put my sticker on them and, and, and get them all packaged up. So I thought, well, while I've got to do that job, I may as well have a catch up with you guys. So for those of you, if you're new to um, my channel, um, hello, welcome. My name's Ruth and um, I, I, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I go by the name of Artful Stampin'. And... Um, Every so often I like to do videos where I basically just kind of catch up with you all, give you my latest news. I know I can't see that very well, but you can. It is there. It is there, honestly. Um, and, yeah, basically do something creative <laughs> while I'm chatting. So um, I've been doing lots of work in the garden today. Um, the um, I'm afraid our, we, we do have quite a large garden and um, a lot of hedges around our our property and with uh, the sunshine and rain and maybe a little bit of uh, not going out there as often as I should do to tackle the garden it's got a little bit overgrown so um, I did say to my kids in a week I gave them fair warning I said right we're going to be in the garden today so uh, two of my boys helped to uh, dig out a little tree that had started growing in an inappropriate place and I've been cutting hedges and just trimming down some some trees that have uh, well I've got a very I've got I'm really fortunate to have three lilac trees in my garden and all three of them are different colours there's like a dark purple one like a light purple one a lilac-y one uh, lilac like lilac uh, and a white one and um the really there's one that's got particularly leggy and and quite large and it's in a place where there's quite a few other bushes and they've all been fighting to kind of get to the sun so they've all kind of got a bit long and so um i've been just trimming that i tried to google how to how to uh prune a lilac tree so i followed the instructions that i found on google so I hope it will work. It probably could do with a little bit more doing to it, but I get a bit nervous about chopping chopping down too much in case I kill it. Um, I've also been happily pruning back some ivy as well to a fence because um, it overgrown so much that I couldn't even see the path anymore. But so that's all gone. So my husband and my son, my eldest son, took quite a few trips to our local dump today. Well, it, it, I call it a dump. It's it's a recycling centre, really. So there's all different areas that you can go and drop off different types of recycling. So um, they've got quite strict about not in, not letting children out of the cars because it can get very busy there. Lots and lots of cars. So um, my husband took my eldest son, who although he's not quite fourteen yet, he actually looks like he's sixteen, going on whatever else because uh, he's quite tall and quite muscular so um, he went along to help his dad empty the car, the car boot so yeah there was about three or four loads of shrubbery went to the recycling today and then this afternoon we went to um, we had a I don't know what they call it really a canal festival I guess food food and water festival we have a canal that runs through the town so um, they had some canoeing they had coracle racing and I actually had a go in a coracle and a coracle if you don't know what it is it's like a very small round type shaped boat with a seat in the middle and you basically you sit on it on the seat uh, you stick your feet into the corners of the coracle and then you you have one paddle that you just move from side to side and it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it but um, after a while I, th I think I got it and because um, I hadn't realized how much you had to use your feet to steady the boat or, 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 or brace yourself against the movement of when you do the, the paddling anyway yeah that was quite enjoyable and I didn't didn't fall in 
Um, and my two sons had a go on that as well. They quite enjoyed it. So, um, so these cards that I'm just stamping up, some of these will probably get donated. Um, some of them I'll put in my box. I've got some boxes full of cards that I have for sale. And so if they haven't got too much, some, sometimes like that, this one's got a little bit damaged because um, they've been in and out of boxes and been displayed and things like that. So um, I like to have the ones that I sell in really good condition. So the ones that are a little bit damaged perhaps will just go as thank you cards or um, little notes to people. Um, and then some of them also make their way to a charity box. Um, if they've got current product on them, I tend to keep them for, for demonst demonstrator purposes. And then if I do a party, I'll take some of these along to show people what they can make with Stampin' Up! products. So, so the stamp that I'm using is from the new um, Better Than Email stamp set, which has our current Stampin' Up! copyright logo. So if you use Stampin' Up! products and... Um, you sell your cards then um, it's really important that you adhere to the angel policy that Stampin' Up! has which um, which is really great they, they allow you to make cards using our products but they just ask that you use an official stamp on the back to say that it's Stampin' Up! so if you don't have the better than if you've got the last year's it retired last year, the Creatively Yours stamp set, then that's fine. Uh, but if you don't, then please uh, purchase the new, better than email one. Um, it's only £14 in the UK, and you do get a lot of stamps. And there's some really nice um, little sentiments on it. You know, there's even things that you can just like stamp on the back of an envelope, like, can't beat snail mail with that cute little snail there. And oh, I like this one with the the wool as well now I'm a bit of a crocheter so I'd probably stamp that without the knitting needles but that's quite easy to do if you're using a pen to color it in or if you just use your ink pad quite carefully on the ball that's quite cute um, and I've just been using that one hand stamp for you and then there's some also, also nice things like inspired to create and share with you and oh created in my kitchen that's quite nice for people who make jams and you know, that kind of thing so it's yeah, it's a really nice little set. And then what I do is I, I print out stickers with my details on. So I've got my website and I've got my my phone number. So that if someone receives a card and they like it and would like to know where else they could purchase cards from, then you know they can obviously get in contact with me. Or perhaps they might be a card maker and think, oh, I'd like to know a bit more about, about Ruth. And then hopefully they'll discover that they can purchase some of the products through me. So, um, yeah, so if you're a demonstrator, it's really important that you always put your contact details and things that could leave, leave your business with uh, any Stampin' Up! related things. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. A bit more stickering and then all these will go into envelopes, with envelopes into cellophane bags. Right, well, um, I don't think I've got much else to update you with, apart from I've got a few classes coming up in July. And um, if you're living in the local, in, you know, near to me, and you'd like to have a party, then please uh, let me know, because um, summertime's coming. It's quite nice to meet up with some friends, and um, I'd love to do a party for you. So thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to carry on stickering and um, let you get on with whatever else you've got to get on with today. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me, and um, do check out my other videos and my blog, artfulstampin.co.uk. Take care for now. Bye-bye.